two, three, four, five, six, and Ivan. Six Skoda Estates and a van. UK military police. I'm in Belgium. Only just, but yes, I am in Belgium. Um, wonder what's going on there. I saw a line of coming up in the mirror, then when I saw military police on the side, I was like, what the hell is going on here? And they're UK. Is there some big event going on? Or something? I don't know. Anyway, um, I was trying to decide whether to start the video or um, and when to start the video or whatever, so it's started now. Uh, I'm in Belgium, just gone in over the border with maybe 5 or 10 minutes. Heading for Antwerp for another one of the containers, so nothing very exciting. I've been sitting in Dunkirk truck stop since Monday night. Um, I was expecting the container to be in um, Tuesday evening expecting maybe to get it Wednesday morning at best Wednesday evening but it's now Thursday morning and I just got the notification there will go saying it was in so heading that way now um, yeah I, I transited Monday down through the UK, got across, got up to um, DK truck stop in Dunkirk, and I was considering, well, it actually worked out, um, I only had a 24 at the weekend. So I got that compensation paid off and whatever. Um, if you shorten your weekend break, you have to repay the rest that you, it's a stupid rule, but anyway, um, you have to repay the rest that you missed out on. Which, right, it might sound, and yeah you get the you get the rest that you should have got but if I'm tired this weekend because I cut a chart getting sleep in two weeks time does not does not stop me being tired today you know that kind of thinking but anyway um, that's beside the point um, so I got that sorted so that was good but I was thinking of going yesterday heading up to Antwerp but um, the truck stop in Antwerp has nothing no park or just parking um, there is a restaurant I think but it's only kind of a cafe and it closes at four o'clock in the evening or something and it's down the road you have a, 
you have a walk to get to it. No, it's not far or anything, but you have to walk out to it and whatever. And the there is toilets and showers, but there wouldn't be no, not saying the ones in um, the truck stop I one was in are brilliant, but they're better than the ones in Antwerp. So um, I decided not to bother moving. And uh, yeah, that's basically my story. Why did this fella snow down? didn't bother putting it into sat nav. I um, now with a while now I've been trying to do more of this um, trust my own judgment or whatever um, in I obviously only in the places where I know where I'm going like but the problem with the sat nav is you um, have no idea of road numbers, junction numbers, anything like that because you're not paying attention to signposts and that, you're just following the sat nav. So um, that's one disadvantage of it. from the UK, different ones, because there's a couple of Citroens in that lot. I don't think there were Citroens in the first lot, I think it was all Skodas. Wait, no, the van following them, maybe it was the same lot. No, that's a different van, it's a... Right. Um, yeah, just gone through Ghent there now. Um, heading for Antwerp. But yeah, just noticed that um, those military police again, the UK military police, don't know what's going on. Right, that's the port, work away. Ship to shore cranes, straddle cranes, trucks lined up. Sorry, I can't. This seems to be maximum zoom, so I can't zoom in anymore. Um, I don't know how clear that will be on a proper screen. So I'm just in the queue here and when a space comes free where those trucks are there, you drive over reversing. I've shown you this before anyway. So um, hopefully you won't be waiting too long. And I'll talk to you then. Right, all loaded up and ready to go. Gin set is working, reefer is running, everything is all good. 
I had a small issue with the one I picked up last week, but we we're able to get it sorted. But everything's good today. there too long in fairness about half an hour so I got um, I got a 15 minute break before the straddle came uh, the straddle crane came along which was handy If I could get it before uh, before I get to Dunkirk, um, but if not, be okay. snack for lunch and I'm on my way again um, that bridge to the left there the flyover was closed for some reason or other so just had to do a quick little loop around nothing major um, there's a funny smell around here today never noticed it before it is a kind of a cross between alcohol, molasses and ration, that kind of a, I can't pinpoint what it is, but anyway, that's not much good to you because you can't smell it. Um, so yeah, all loaded up, all good, um, as I said, still waiting for paperwork. But um, I have enough to manage. Um, I was I have enough details to fill out CMR and all that, and um, I don't need the rest of it. I don't think they actually need it at all. But just to have it, just in case. But. Um, seen this before I get to um, 
in Kirk to be great because the handiest place for me to get it printed is the Dunkirk truck stop where I was parked up the last few days but they couldn't send it to me the last few days I don't think they get the paperwork until the ship has docked or whatever so that's why they couldn't send it to me say yesterday or something like that anyway that's beside the point again um, everything I say today is beside the point anyway So back to oh, potholes. Um, weird handlebars. I like a kind of a cruiser thing like that, but that one just looks so. That one just looks uncomfortable. Right. The dim cruiser type ones, I don't know what you call them, but um, with the big long handlebars and whatever, sometimes they look cool, but that one just looks uncomfortable. Anyway, I would never be getting a bike, so it doesn't matter. Uh, which route back do I go? It's all the one, really. Into Ghent or up for Bruges? Dunkirk and it is now 22 minutes past 8 um, they've just gone around with the dog there now so I'd say we should be boarding soon enough so that is the crack in the carry-on um, 
yeah they um before they start boarding they just run up run the dog up and down between the trucks sniffing doing a final check so um yeah uh i'd say the boat or i'd say we should be boarding soon enough um I should be one of the first on because I'll have to be out the back of the boat on the open deck because uh, it has to stay running, the fridge. So that's the crack, talk to you later. So just waiting to get off the boat there now in Dover. Um, they might let that truck off but there is a fair bit that they will hold the rest of the trucks they let this van off and let all the cars and vans off before they let the trucks off because obviously trucks don't have a schedule to keep or anything like that Yep, let all the cars off first. Anyway, I'm just going to into motors, so um, makes no great odds to me, but it's still wrong that they do that. Anyway, right, it's walk around checks time. Everything is good here. Lorry is nice and shiny. Everything good there. Cup then closed, pin still in. All good there. All good, all good. Still seal intact. No sign of any tomfoolery going on but I've just checked already um, I have noticed that the water temperature is high in that I don't know whether that's the way she runs maybe that's the way she runs normally maybe not I don't know but um, I will note it down just in case. So that's the crack. Right, so time to go. the shite cliff I mean white cliffs of Dover just ahead of us or some of them are part of them or I don't know um, so this is the wondrous mortis truck stop um, it's alright truck stop to be fair decent showers um, cleaned after every use uh, good breakfast and cheap breakfast um, that's it so just pull around here and any space to I must just run in and validate my ticket to get out seconds 
clear to go. Um, I, I think I was lucky enough to get in last night actually. This is a big spot for um, customs clearance and whatever. And they have a good section of parking done away with down here. They must be doing some reform or change about or something. So um, they were stopping in the barrier and they were kind of only, I'd say they were just started thankfully. He asked me whether I was doing customs or parking and he, when I said parking, he was half slow to let me in but he did so all is good. Or maybe they're doing away with that for coaches for tours that could be why that parking is blocked off maybe I don't know I'll have to watch that in future for the summer So that's me done here. Just adjust myself, put on my belt, and away I go. Um, that's the entrance to it there on the left. Just at the edge of. Um, over town so um, on up for Hollyhead today uh, hopefully I'll make it up and make it in but um, last week I didn't Friday traffic was horrific took me the full nine hours to get up to um, Hollyhead should be anywhere between six and a half and seven and a half kind of thing or nothing um, looks like it's going to be a decent day hopefully oh yes this is operation Brock it was actually it was there last week it was gone on the way out but looks like they've it started up again today Basically, they hold all the trucks so that Mary and Karen can go on their holidays. Because, as a, the same as coming off the boat last night, trucks have no schedule or hours to keep or anything like that. Just stack them up in the motorway. Don't care about them. No facilities. No nothing. Absolute disgrace. But then that's the UK for you. That queue actually isn't too bad. Hello, um, 
night I had my break in Warwick services um, 3 hours 40 to go it was only 3 hours and a, three and a half hours a couple of minutes ago but um, just come up to what looks to be a rolling roadblock there now so hopefully it's just something small that they can clear and let us drive on again um, I'm only maybe a hundred yards from the front of it I'd say it's only just started there now so um, hopefully it's just a, a lot of time to be the likes of um, shrapnel from a blown tire or something like that and they just clear it off the road and get on but hopefully that's all it is so that's the crack um, I'm booked it all for tomorrow morning sailing at 0240 which is as grand uh, might have been slightly better if I got the eight o'clock sailing tonight or eight is it eight fifteen or eight or five or so I can't remember I don't know but we'll call it the eight o'clock sailing. Um, might have been slightly handier but. Uh, well no because I would have still had to finish a break in T11 in Dublin and the customs so it makes no difference um, I'll still only be back in the Dublin yard for tomorrow morning hopefully around 8 o'clock at the latest but um, that should work out alright uh, I'll get a 45 in and I've already got my plan um, same as last week I'm dropping I'll be dropping this one in the Dublin yard I won't be delivering it Monday morning because I'll be shipping out Monday morning to go back out for another one, third one in a row. And other drivers say the planners like me. I know I, I don't mind um, these containers. They're grand, but I just hate being on the exact same thing the whole time, especially when it's so such a short trip. You know, um, and going in and out through the UK is a disaster as well. Just this traffic and whatever. Well, it's all right. It's not too bad when you get to transit on the tourist day. But Friday traffic is a disaster. Today hasn't been crazy bad. But at the same time, it is a lot slower than it should be. Um, this is the M40. I came up the M40 this time for a change. I, I always go around uh, Dartford. And for no other reason, just pure habit. Um, so I came clockwise around the M25 this time and up the M40. Big 
traffic in Birmingham it's just it's impossible to tell what way traffic traffic would go one driver will swear by going one route another will swear by another route I'm convinced it's just bad luck um, like going around the M25 around London whether you go Dartford or whether you go the other way it makes no it, there is slight differences whatever and you can get better runs and whatever but in general I think it's just potluck with um, nice Scania from Coles there um, in general I think it's just potluck with traffic you can never know you could have roadworks on one route but then you go the other route to avoid roadworks so you get an accident or vice versa you just never know so um, that's the update for the moment stuff um, so there must be a race on this weekend maybe Silverstone or somewhere but I've seen a good couple of race team trucks passing Right, so I'm stuck in traffic as you can see. Talk to you later. It's a lovely evening here, uh, half six. Um, just going along Conway Bay there now, and don't know. minutes from Hollyhead uh, I'll be caught to take a break but that's okay that can be done too the 
and they might have to be in but it's I want to do a truck run on Saturday morning um, hoping to do a truck run I haven't said to the boss and everything but um, whether it works into the plan now or not it should hopefully if everything works out but it just gives a small bit less leeway the way we're, they're doing it but anyway um, see I want to be finished by